There was a guy in the class of 2014 who was proclaimed to be the number one player on YouTube. A lot of people also said this same guy was easily one of the top five players. But ever since then, we haven't heard anything about this guy. So what happened? Malik Pope. This name probably doesn't sound familiar to most of y'all, but at one point, this guy's name was ringing a ton of bells. Around 2012 and 2013, he was getting a ton of attention on YouTube. And this attention and hype was really rare and really special because about seven or eight years ago, there wasn't that many hoop mixtape companies out. So back then, if you just had one mixtape out, you was looked at as the next big thing. But after those mixtapes dropped, we really haven't heard anything about this guy since then. So what happened to this guy? And to get to the bottom of that, you already know, we gotta throw it all the way back to where things started. We have to throw it all the way back to the year of 2010 and 2011. That is the time and place where Malik Pope was a freshman. And as a freshman, he started his high school career off on the JV team, so there's not too much to say. So let's flash forward to the following year of 2011 through 2012. As just a sophomore, he was measured around 6'3", so that's pretty tall. And as a sophomore, this was his first year for his varsity team. Malik didn't really put up any crazy numbers though. For the year, he only averaged 7.8 points per game and 5.6 rebounds, so a pretty mediocre year. Going from his sophomore year to his junior year though, this is where he really made a big step. He went from being listed as 6'3 as a sophomore to being listed at 6'8. And not only did his height increase, but his numbers increased as well. He jumped his points per game all the way up to 16.3 and his rebounds to 6.9. And around this same time, this is when he really started getting a lot of attention on the recruiting and college level. So going into his senior season, he had a ton of expectations. But unfortunately, he did not get to meet and live up to those expectations. After doing some drills in the summer of 2012, he did break his leg. He was supposed to recover and come back in time for the season, but however, he wound up breaking it again and tearing his meniscus. Therefore, Malik Pope had to miss his entire senior season, which that completely sucks. With that being said, at the time of his injury, he was still listed as a five-star recruit in a lot of rankings. But when you're not able to play for your senior and last year, of course you're going to drop in the rankings. It's only common sense, because while you're not out there playing and improving your ranking, there's only one thing you can do and that is decrease because there's other players out there improving theirs. Regardless of the injury and dropping in rankings, he wound up being listed at around the 50th overall recruit in a lot of rankings. And some recruiting websites even dropped his 5th star and bumped him down to a 4 star recruit. One thing you guys need to keep in mind, this was not his fault he dropped in the rankings, this had nothing to do with his game, it was just because he got hurt and couldn't play. While sitting out for his senior season, he definitely had a lot of time to think about where he wanted to play his college ball at. Malik Pope wound up deciding to sign with San Diego State. And just as a freshman, he had a game with 22 points against Colorado State and it sent his name all the way up the NBA draft boards. But that performance wound up being sort of just a one hit wonder and he didn't really have all great of a year. For the season, he averaged only right at about five points per game and under three rebounds. He was just a freshman though and he didn't really have a big role on this team so of course we didn't really think too much of this. So let's flash forward to his sophomore season which is the following year. In the 2015 through 2016 season his numbers really didn't see that much of an increase. He had somewhat of an okay year but he wound up only averaging 7 points per game and under 1 assist. He did however pitch in 5 rebounds per game, so that's pretty solid. And following the season, for some odd reason, he declared for the 2016 NBA Draft, but he did not hire an agent. Basically what that means, if you don't hire an agent, if you don't get drafted or whatnot, you don't have to go to the NBA or overseas, you can come back to college. 
And of course, this guy came back to college. I don't know why he even put his name in the draft. Everyone knew this guy was not going to get drafted. I mean, just think about it. Have you heard of anyone averaging seven points per game in college getting drafted? It's kind of rare. So coming back for his junior season, he kind of started to feel that pressure. Unfortunately for Malik, his junior season was just full of injuries and it didn't go as planned. He wound up missing in total 9 games, but he did jump his points up to 11 per game, which is pretty solid. But of course, like you guys know, that's definitely not good for the NBA, so he decided to come back for his senior season. And right when things were looking pretty great for this guy, this is where things start going downhill. Once again, he increased his points per game like he did every year to 12.8. His assist and rebounds kind of stayed the same throughout his college career, so there's not much to talk about there. But on February 23rd in 2018, he was suspended for allegedly receiving $1,400 from an agent. The FBI even got involved and did an investigation, but Pope was cleared to play shortly after around February 28th. There wasn't really too much said about this because it was only a four to five day investigation, so that's just kind of weird and kind of fishy. For his senior season, he wound up shooting over 52% from the field. And his three point percentage was pretty good as well. He shot around 37% from deep. Malik Pope was around 6'10 while he's in college, so that's pretty good for a big player. And of course, with being a senior, you either have to go to the next level or do something else with your career. So Malik Pope wound up joining the Los Angeles Lakers in the 2018 NBA Summer League. And then really shortly after that, on August 10th of 2018, Pope officially started his professional career by signing with the Greek team known as PAOK. I'm not really sure what that means, but basically he just started playing overseas. And then after about six months of overseas, on January 13th in 2019, Malik signed with the Greensboro Swarm of the NBA G League. And as of now, and currently today, as I am speaking and making this video, he is back overseas and playing for the Rostock Sea Wolves in Germany. So I guess you could say he's still chasing that dream, and that's just one thing we love to see. Out of all the stories I've covered, this guy definitely has one of the most prolonged basketball careers out of all of them. You really just have to think about it. This guy started getting hype around 2011 and he sort of fell off, but he's still playing till this day and it's the year of 2020. That's unreal. Will Malik Pope ever get back to where he once was in his basketball career? Probably not, but hey, it's just awesome that he's still continuing to chase his dream. But hey man, with all of this being said, that's about gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys learned something. If you are new to the channel, what are you doing man? Join the family and hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out y'all. Peace.